Dear Princess Peach, I'm so glad Bowser's given up trying to kidnap you and that the Mushroom Kingdom is finally now at peace. It's been fun racing carts and playing board games together, but I've decided to leave indefinitely to my own private island. It's time for my next adventure. Goodbye, dear one. Mario. P.S. Tell Luigi I'm happy for him and Daisy. Hello, learners! Welcome to Trick Science! Have you ever speculated about video game couples in an effort to make sense of who ends up with who? Well, it's time to take a good look into the long-standing and at times convoluted relationships of the Mushroom Kingdom, and more specifically, the sweet, loving relationship between Princess Daisy and Luigi. Huh. It looks like Luigi always ends up with someone in the end, while Mario... <laughs> ...just does his thing. But why? Why would Peach or Princess Daisy in her right sun-baked mind decide to take Luigi over, say, Mario? Or anyone else, for that matter? I mean, the guy is shown to have quite a lot of cowardly tendencies that really turn most women away. Especially powerful, ruling princesses. Does Daisy only go for Luigi because because Mario is supposedly taken and Luigi's literally the only other man left? That's it, problem solved! Or is it because Daisy and Peach, for that matter, would much rather be with Luigi than other people like our red-clad boy Mario? In the spirit of giving some positive vibes to our green player too, the princess's choice of plumber can be due to a few reasons. You see, most women, let alone a princess, would be incredibly turned away by a cowardly man, one who couldn't fight the hordes of baddies in the Mushroom Kingdom, let alone stand up for himself. But not these ladies! Daisy especially just wants a man she can break, turning him into both a leashed husband and lifelong servant. Stay away from this crazy princess. But really, Luigi, despite the many games and instances that depict him as a cowardly turnoff, is far more brave than people give him credit for. Luigi is routinely along for the ride and stopping whatever plan Bowser's up to, oftentimes by himself, giving Bowser his most humiliating defeat, I might add. Luigi has also overcome what can only be described as an extreme phobia of ghosts, becoming the ultimate Ghostbuster and saving everyone with his shaking knees and all. And this brings up an important point, that Luigi, even though he's scared out of his mind, still finds the strength to stand up for himself, to take a step in the right direction which results in him saving the day, instead of him just silently scampering off, leaving his friends and family to their otherwise wise horrible fates. Luigi isn't a coward. He's a brave, mustachioed man who still fights for himself and his loved ones when he needs to, regardless of being scared. As an added attractive factor, Luigi has been shown to be skilled at a wide variety of sports and games. From being a master violinist to a raging kart racer and everything in between, Luigi can do it all. So why is this important? Well, being skilled at something, let alone multiple things, can make you much more respected and attractive to potential mates, especially people who peg you as someone who doesn't do much of anything, only for them to find out that you're into music, tricking, parkour, baseball, jujitsu, or one heck of a handyman, or any of other countless possibilities. And with Luigi's extreme athletic track record and obvious great shape, of course he would draw some well-earned attention from some lucky ladies. But with all this, the one big the question still remains unanswered. Why Luigi and not Mario? I mean, Mario does all these extreme sports too, and he seems to be the hyper-competitive, higher-status thrill-seeker among the two. Well, in our biggest point yet that explains more than just Daisy's choice in men, Mario is so competitive and hates losing so much that he shows himself to have hardly any compassion or much care at all for others. Going so far as to stomp on and then grind upon Luigi's foot when Luigi beats him in a tennis match, showing that Mario's a bit of a jerk who can't put others before himself. 
ever. This may explain why he dumped Pauline and moved on to Peach. Because he's always going out looking for his next adventure. Mario's such an adventure addict that in the Super Mario timeline, once Bowser gives up trying to kidnap Peach and they all become buddies playing tennis and racing carts together, Mario decides to leave the kingdom and buys his own private island to explore. And that's just it. Mario is always fixing for his next thrilling journey, never wanting to settle down so much that he leaves Peach, the girl he's supposedly been fighting for this entire time. Huh. I guess all those promises of cake and cheek kisses weren't enough. That he says adios, leaving them all behind so that he can live out his days exploring his own island. Luigi, on the other glove, really seems to play these games not to win, but because he's with his friends. He doesn't really care or live for adventure like his brother Mario. But what Luigi clearly cares about is others. So much so that, while Mario's selfishly motivated solely by his insatiable thirst for adventure, Luigi selflessly motivated by his loved ones. That it's their being in danger that drives Luigi to man up, grab his vacuum, and beat the utter crap out of a hotel full of ghosts. It's no wonder why Peach and Daisy would choose Luigi. He's really not that bad of a guy, and may very well be the princess's preferred go-to guy. Cause with Mario hopping away everywhere, it's not like either one of them would be able to settle down and have a family with him even if they wanted to. Because he could clearly doesn't want to. So let's all give it up for Luigi. You're most certainly the man the princesses would want. Anyways, that's just some lovely science. Trick science! See you learners on the flip side.